Let's try a tricky volume problem involving subtracting. The picture above is half a honeydew melon, a perfect sphere sliced in half. So imagine you're eating some honeydew and you just cut it right in half, fruit ninja style. It is hollow in the middle. Usually there's seeds here, you clean it out and this is just half the honeydew melon. What is the volume of the fruit part only? So what we have here is half a ball or half a melon and it looks kind of 2D-ish but really this goes in 3D. This is, think of this as a cross section. So the key idea here is when you're talking about uh, the volume of this fruity part, the fruity fleshy part, we're going to find the, the volume of the fruit is going to be generally forget the half part for now. It's going to be the volume of the large circle. Not the word sphere is better. Sphere minus the volume of the small hollow sphere. Hollow sphere. Now this result here would give you the fruit assuming that we have this entire sphere but because we know that we're only going to get half the fruit we're going to take this answer and we're going to divide it by two so this entire answer is going to be divided by two now let's recall the formula of the volume of the sphere let me just write it on the side here recall that the volume of a sphere and we memorize this is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So continuing on here we have this is equals to the volume of the large sphere so we're talking about 4 over 3 pi r cubed and the radius of the larger sphere here is given as 9 9 centimeters minus the volume of the hollow sphere which is 4 over 3 pi r cubed and here the radius of the smaller sphere don't get these mixed up is 5 all divided by 2 and this here is your answer and assuming that you work this very carefully using your calculator we get the answer of approximately 1 2 six five point zero one and we're talking about units centimeters cubed so remember that use bed mass the exponents go first and of course uh, you have to be comfortable with your calculator you have to know that you need to evaluate the numerator first so there's a hidden bracket here all divided by two so know when to press enter on your calculator and just get comfortable computing such large values so that you can match the answer.